Two Degrees has actually been around for about 10 years, but it took the first three years for us to actually build the network. And then we launched in 2009. And we took a very simplistic approach to the market and we just attacked the prepaid market effectively. So we thought, let's not try to be all things to all people. And so once we gained sufficient market share in prepaid, then we moved on to the pay monthly customers and then progressed there quite rapidly and then took focus onto the business, uh, business community. And that's where we see the, our biggest area of growth at the moment now is in the business community. We're actually number two in, in New Zealand in prepaid and we've got about 20% market share in the postpaid, but only single digit numbers in, in the business community. We've got some trials underway at the moment. We're working with a company to, to, uh, which examines and tests the water quality of uh, one of the harbours in New Zealand. People swim there and, and we just want to make sure that the water is safe for swimming and so that will send back real-time signals. At the moment, someone goes out there and tests the water every week and then it takes two or three days to test it. So we could be still people swimming in there. We can do this every 15 minutes by, by automation. Uh, we're looking at uh, lighting in cities at the moment. We're, we're working with a, a partner there. Every, all the city councils are trying to save money. They're, they're, you know, they don't want to increase the, the property taxes or the rates, so they're trying to save money. And the obvious choice is to change the existing street lighting, which is halogen, to an LED uh, bulb that, that, that cuts it down by about 60% electricity requirements. But what's the point of having the light on in the middle of the night when nobody's walking around? So you can have the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the power of the light to go down to about 10% ambient level. And then if someone walks past the light, gets a little bit brighter. The, uh, the video to detect aggressive behavior and those sorts of things. So we, we're dabbling in a lot of ways at the moment. It's an area I'm very excited about and it was one of the attractive assets that Snap had at the time. So not only did they have a broadband service, but they also had a, an enterprise division which was creating and solving large bespoke WAN and LAN problems for, for large uh, city councils, health departments and those kind of places. Almost half their revenue was generated from that, that enterprise department. Once we discovered that that was one of the assets that we had, we've really grown that business and we have a sales force out there selling those products. We've just recently won a big, uh, a big contract with the fifth largest ministry in New Zealand. And so when you start to get district health boards and hospitals and ministries actually availing themselves of the service, then I think you, you can say that you've, you've managed some success, I think. And I think it's the, the reason we've been successful is just that degree of flexibility. Our competition are very much, it has to be off the shelf, it comes out of the box and here's what we can sell you. Whereas we go along and we listen to the customer and we say, okay, what is your problem? How can we solve that? How can we make you better at doing your business?